Hey Jenna, this is Rob Plumbing here. I got your updated drawings with the rooms labeled, which will help me greatly. And I'm recording this right now, and uh, hopefully you can hear my voice. The microphone's a little further away from me than usual. And I took down some notes after looking at your work. I'm gonna try to give you some feedback if I can here on, we're gonna start with your site plan. And a couple things on the site plan that you wanna consider as we go forward. First off, I just wanna acknowledge the work that you did. Uh, I know that architecture is not necessarily your, um, your origins of, of academic career, however, it's good for you to, to delve into this and get a sense of what's, what, what it takes to get something laid out. Um, so uh, you should take all my comments with a grain of salt and think that you've actually accomplished um, a great deal of work in the two weeks that I assigned it to you. So as usual, your work is very good. And some things to think about. First off, you definitely wanna show the context of the neighborhood. You want to show the sidewalk, you want to show the road, you want to show what's across the street, at least for the site plan. For the building plans, you don't really need that. You also want to think about where people walk and where they don't walk. So I might say that this is what we will call hardscape, which is, is paving, and then these might be planters, which would be considered softscape. So you begin to see where people can walk and where they can't. And that gets into the whole idea of entry. So the first thing I noticed is, and I'll deal more with this on the plan, I couldn't really tell where the building is entered. Um, so that's just something to consider. And we'll, we'll talk about that in the plan. The other thing is that you wanna give some, some drive-in space uh, so that people can drive into this parking and you probably wanna kinda keep it like this. Uh, I'm not quite sure how you're gonna do this. You're gonna have your parking coming in and out. So these are your spots as you have here. You just want to have space to come in and go back out again and then you want to have your bus drop off maybe in here or you know some people are uh, probably wouldn't be too bad um, so so think about ways to get in and out of the parking and think about being careful about putting cars in the corners um, that could be pretty good and also I would probably have a planter strip along the sidewalk so this all should push down a bit and then I think that this is really sort of the employee entry if not the main entry so you want to have things like sidewalks and again you want to have hardscape around where people are going to congregate around the building. Oh, I see your bus is here. So if that's the case, then you probably have a road that kind of comes through like this. More than likely they would come in um, off of Ridge and then come down this way, pull over and then come out of Kelly. Well, this new template's a little tricky for me to use. There you go. Now, um, so if that's the case, a lot of people are coming in this way. So you probably have something where all of this is kind of considered hardscape, and this is all considered softscape. All of this could be considered softscape. The art music garden, to me, seems like it's in an odd place because of the noise. So thinking about the, um, the performative or the decibels that might be here, and also from the experiential, I might wanna think about moving that over there, although another thing to do is think about just sort of tucking that up against the building a bit and then using your foliage you know, you gotta use your softscape to your advantage. So you have a big landscape buffer down here and you wanna show that because all of a sudden I feel better about this outdoor space being so close to the road. And you have lots of play outdoor space, which makes me wonder if your program isn't a little short on space, although um, I'm gonna look at your plans in a minute. It looks like you could use a little bit more square footage for your building or your building looks a little small. Um, and that's it for the site. Let me go back in now and uh, yeah, I think the art, art music garden could be something much smaller and much more defined, much more special. It could be defined by foliage. And this could be something else here in this corner. Not sure what, though. Now, thanks for labeling. So I, I see you have classroom, classroom, office, office, classroom, auditorium, bathrooms, and classrooms. So a couple things. First off, um, I think we want to split the building open here. So I'm going to get rid of this classroom for a minute. And I'm going to make a lobby. I'm going to make this L for lobby. And then when you come in the lobby, you can see out into that beautiful little arts garden that you had talked about in the previous. When you put your trees in, try to put your trees in to make space and not necessarily floating around in the site. Remember, you have this great buffer down here. So you can use trees as parts of architecture and, and shrubs and different, uh, different plantings to kind of create a sense of space. And that's what you want to do there. Now I would get, and then what I would do is I would take these bathrooms and move them up against the north wall. The bathrooms don't like to be on the south wall because you have all this great light coming in here. So I take the classroom and I'd move the classroom here. And I'd probably make my whole building a little bit longer 
which would allow you to get, um, which would allow you to stretch all this out a little bit. Um, and by the way, this is typical for a, a design studio to kind of have all these changes being made. These classrooms, to me, all make sense. Three classrooms here. They're having the classrooms on the north. I tend to want to put, say, art and music on the north because they're less dependent on southern light for daylighting, and, and these classrooms are used quite often. So when I look on the second floor, I might think about putting music and art over here and letting the south side of the building be used for um, classrooms. Now, one of the things that's kind of interesting is you have enough space on the site where you could begin to tilt the entire building, and I don't think it would necessarily hurt your project in any real way. Um, and so what you might want to think about what that would do for you. Um, yeah, and your buses are not here, so you, you could even push the building up this way as much as you want so the building can start to go. Let me use a different color here. So you could begin to think about the building. Uh, let's use this. So the building could even do something like this, right? Because you have your buses coming in down here. And you have, you know, you could make the building a little longer. And you have maybe this is your entry feature for the, the non-public. And this becomes all of your outdoor space here. And you get a little better orientation for your, um, for your try, try to do a north arrow on your drawings next time so I know exactly where the north, the southern light is coming from. Um, and again, you want to think about the hardscaping on the corner from your cultural perspective is you want to think about how you can give the neighborhood something back um, that will work with that. You've already got the auditorium here, which could open up directly. By the way, all your doorways always open out, not in. Um, something that you can easily fix in your next version of your um, drawing there. So that's the first floor. Um, and yeah, I would just have a lot more doors here. I would make this all doors. And your stair could be something much more celebrated as it could come out into the space in a very interesting shape. So as you come up and down the stairs, you look out into this beautiful garden. So let the stair be something that is a sculptural element to help your project. Now, um, on the second floor, I see special classrooms, right? So I might take those specials and move them down stairs, or maybe I'll leave them there. I've got bathrooms here. I got your bathrooms over here, which actually would work pretty well with the cafeteria. And what I would do is I would get, I would get another classroom. I would get as many classrooms as I can along here. Um, so I don't know how you do that. Maybe this gets a little longer but trying to get all your main classrooms there. I think this stair is in the same place. Uh, no, it looks like you moved your, yeah, it looks like your stair has jumped around a little bit. So if I remember correctly, if I go back, your stair is right about there. So your stair is right about here. And I guess that's a fire stair, which you might not need. You need a stair. You're gonna need a stair at this end of the building for fire. And you're going to need either the stair you have now, you can make into a fire stair, being clever. Um, and what ends up happening, it looks like your cafeteria is a little bit chopped up. Um, so if I go back to your first floor and I move the stair, this stair right here over to here. Let me draw in a different color because this is probably getting confusing for you. Yeah, sorry about that. If I take my stair and I move it here, right, and then when I go to the next floor, that puts my stair right here. Okay, follow me here. And now I've got and I've got my bathrooms here. Now all of this is freed up for cafeteria. Now this cafeteria is probably not um, the kind of cafeteria that has a kitchen, because if it were, your cafeteria would probably want to move back over this way where you can get a kitchen and some. You're going to have some loading dock over here, a place for supplies to be brought in. So by the way, this is not unusual to have all of these critiques and comments on all these different. Um, elements of your design. So you shouldn't take it personally. I'm doing this to everybody. You don't have to act upon everything that I suggest either. But I could see a really nice staircase forming there, which means I'd have a stair right here. Right? And these are, oh, the offices, right. So we're just gonna, I think the building has to get a little longer. So you want to keep the offices where they are. In fact, you might want to move the bathrooms inside here. So you're probably getting pretty confused by now. I would sign up for a time with me tomorrow, that being Tuesday. Although we're going to meet as a whole class tomorrow. Um, but maybe we can get a one-on-one -on -one at some point pretty soon. And uh, that's all. I, I didn't cut and paste your, your three-dimensional views, which were helpful. 
when you build your 3D views, try to not just go ahead and put a flat roof on those um, or get a slope roof in the direction of the solar that you might want. Um, but overall, that's, that was good. I think you had another scheme though. So that'll stop this one and then we'll, we'll see what else we, we'll, I'll get your other one up.